For today's embed soap, I am using up a, a bunch of soap balls from trimmings when I trim the edges of my soap. We're gonna make a little planet soap. So in this bucket, we have what's left from when I did my desert soap, which is grape ape, tickled pink, and cheesy poof from Mad Micah's. We have in here radioactive neon green from Mad Micah's. And then over in this one, we have some black oxide from Brambleberry. So we're just gonna mix these up and then we're going to use our small mold here to create just a small little galaxy soap with hopefully kind of cosmic striations going through the black soap. I always aim to get like the blackest black possible and I always end up with a dark gray, but that's okay. I'll take what I can get. All right, so what we wanna do with this is I'm going to just kind of pour it in, throw some balls in, pour more in, throw some balls in. So let's see if we can get this to work. This is scented with Nurture's All Souls Day, which is just a super awesome, vibrant scent. I didn't realize that it was gonna rice. It riced chunks, which meant that as soon as I added the fragrance to my batter, my batter all of a sudden seized up just going to add some of the green in here and some of this mixture of neon purple and neon pink. Just doing it random, haphazard, and then pour some more black. And then we want to start chucking in some of these balls. I have a lot of these pink and gray balls. These are the same ones that I used as suns in my neon desert sunset. So we're going to try to evenly space these out so that we don't have, you know, nothing but pink balls in our soaps. And then the goal with this is that when we cut it open, we should cut it open and it should look like planets going through our universe. I'm just going to try to cover up the balls where they are. Another little bit of green and then add some orange and pink going through there. A little more black and then some more planets. Actually, as far as my blacks go, this is one of my darker blacks, which is nice to see for a change. Right, some of these soap dough balls are really old. <laughs> I'm like, the brown one in there, that's from my wood grain soap, which funny enough is one of my most popular videos. I think it's at like 3,000 views right now, which is just totally awesome. Oops, I wanted that one to go over there. Just try to space these where I don't see like colors. Oops, put that one over there. Come on, get in there. This one's a flat one, so I can just stick that down the side here. And let's see if we can get some more soap in here. Get some more green. And then I'm gonna whack this down on the counter, try to get all of those planets to kind of settle into the soap a little better. I actually thought this was gonna be too much soap batter for these planets, but now I'm wishing I had made some more. Tap this down. Luckily, I have a big batch of soap batter here because I've just kind of made a master batch of batter and I've been using it to make all these little soaps for my embeds. So this giant thing of batter here, I'm gonna pour into my black and make a little extra black. Oh, my soap is starting to set up. That's not good because I still have a bunch to use for cupcakes. Let's see if I have enough black in here to make this black. I'm gonna mix it in, whoops, making a mess. Nope, that's definitely gonna be gray. Houston, we have more black. I had to, ran out of black oxide, so I got into the black charcoal, and the combination between the two actually made a super nice black. So our galaxy might look weird because it might have two kinds of black in it, but that's okay. So we're just gonna dump that in there. 
Get some cosmic colors in, whatever we can that's left in our bowls. Tell you, this soap is setting up fast. That All Souls Day. I used it once before and loved it, but it's been a long time since I used it, and I don't remember it rising. I don't remember it accelerating. All right, we've cleaned up a little bit. We're just going to do a little swirl here. Not much, because I don't want to muddy the colors. Hold. Whoops, oh, and of course I flung it all over myself. You know, I've learned with soaping, anytime your soap starts to accelerate, things are just gonna be a real struggle from there on out, so. <laughs> Since I've started using this little Amazon mold, I've gotten questions on how to unmold from this mold. Um, one of the best things you can do for unmolding soap is to not have <laughs> mess around your edges. I should have wiped that while the soap was still liquidy. I tried to run a skewer around the sides, but I didn't do a very good job, so there's still soap on the inside there. So best tip is to make sure that's all clean before your soap hardens. If you don't have a high top, you can just grab it from here and pull it up. If you do have a high top, I would very carefully wait until it's nice and hard on the top and then turn it upside down and just kind of wiggle it. And it comes out of the wooden box very easy and the downside to that is there can sometimes be bowing on the sides because it's not super flush to the silicone and then in order to get it out of the silicone this is the part i think people have the most trouble with but you just want to open it as deep down to the sides as you can you don't want your finger to touch your soap because if your soap is still soft down there it might dent it but you just want to pull it away all the way down to the bottom of the soap get your fingers in the corners and just kind of separate it Set it on its side, and then while you're holding the sides and not touching the soap, just push in from the bottom. And that will pull your soap up. And then, if even if you have a high top, you should hopefully be able to grab it, or I would set it over like a folded towel to kind of catch the fall of it. And there you go. With this soap, you'll remember, I used iron oxide on the bottom, and then I ran out of my black soap. So up here, I also ran out of iron oxide. So this up here is part iron oxide and part activated charcoal. And it's really black. So I think I may have found my way to get ultimate black is to mix the two. But we're going to trim this a little. We're gonna spray it. We're gonna let it set so that it can dry. And then we're going to cut it and hopefully see all of our beautiful planets on the inside. See, and this is one of the reasons you want your mold to be really clean before you unmold it, is that all those little flecks of soap will stick to your soap and just make it look kind of trashy. So you really want things to be as clean as possible before you even unmold it to keep your soap looking clean and professional. I mean, it's not like it's dirt. It's just soap sticking to soap. It's just that it, it looks untidy. And for the most professional look, you want really clean lines. I'll clean up my trimmings here. So once again, I'm just gonna take all my trimmings and just kind of squish them into each other. And from our embed soap, we have another embed. So just like we did with our desert soaps recently, I'm just gonna spritz this with water. We're gonna let this sit and dry so it can retain its shine and not be wet. And then we'll cut it and look at our beautiful planets. I think we're gonna just make these some fun small bars. Oh, that's lovely! That's what I love about planet soaps, is they just, they always look amazing. I've never had a planet soap that I was disappointed in. They're just always super fun. And every square is completely different, especially when you're using um, soap scrap embeds. You know, if I were to make soap specifically to make planets, they would all look very similar to each other. But when you're using soap scraps, every, si whoops, every single one is completely different. So the two blacks are very different, but I'm okay with that. It doesn't look bad because it's so loopy and wavy. We'll just say that that's an encroaching black hole coming for the planets. 
Ooh, I love that neon green. That neon green is awesome. See, look, you get a different planet on each side. And these are fun little bathroom soaps. They're big enough to be a body soap, but small enough to be a hand soap by the sink. Perfect palm size. So I, I do like the Amazon soap molds for that reason. They're really inexpensive. My biggest complaint with them is that they're small, so you can't really do like large batches at a time. But if you have multiple molds, um, you can do more than one. Ooh, that one's gonna glow in the dark. But if you do a bunch of them, you still have a bunch of butt end pieces. And I don't particularly care for the butt end pieces. Ooh, there's a big glow in the dark one. So if you're making soap, don't throw away your scraps. Squish them up, ball them up, turn them into little planets and make yourself some fun galaxy soap. And I really love the look of the neons swirling through the soap in their nebulous clouds of awesomeness. I love the smell of that All Souls Day. It give, gave me a lot of problems in my soap but it just smells so amazing that I'm willing to forgive it for all of its issues. I always love when I have enough planets to make a galaxy soap because it means that I've been making a lot of soap, which in and of itself makes me happy because I love making soap. And that's the last of our soap there. Beautiful, beautiful. I did get two planets right next to each other with the pink a couple times, but We'll just call them twin planets. And I love the way these look like little Earths. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed watching me cut the galaxy soap. Happy soaping, everyone.